All right, in this video, I thought I'd just share one of the uh, tips I use uh, for my car, and that is to use what you call either deionized water or battery top-up water, which is the same thing. All it means is distilled water, which means it's water that's been steamed and they collect the steam and it comes off and somehow they collect it, just like water vapours. Uh, what you get from that is you get no ions in it, or in other words, no metals in it. Or in other words, nothing that can form a crusty kind of layer inside, say, for example, when you boil your kettle at home, after I get a crusty layer, especially if you live in hard water places like I do. Okay, the reason for that, very important, so you use water in the radiator, and we use water in the uh, fill-up cap, for the, the windscreen wash uh, so what we don't want in there we don't want deposits of irons we don't want deposits of uh, crusty lime scale in there to clog your radiator up because I have in the past used tap water and um, a long long time ago and uh, every now and again what you'll find is your radiator is blocked not completely, mostly partially blocked, and uh, you find it your, over, your car overheating. Right, so part of your radiator would be cool to the touch, part of it would be hot because it's blocked. And um, what you get from there, the downside of that, sometimes even you'll find inside inside your dash, inside just under your steering wheel, inside there, there's a heat exchanger, and it's basically like another little radiator. If that thing gets blocked, what you'll find is um, you might get no heating at all inside your car uh, or worse still it leaks and uh, you've got your carpet's going to be all wet so if you want your car to run efficiently without having to ever change your radiator make sure you use the ionized water or battery top up or whatever you want to call it now here on this one make sure you label everything in the past I've mixed 50% antifreeze to 50% distilled water, I've mentioned it, and it's there. And I've crossed off the screen wash. Um, there's two types of antifreeze I can think of. The blue ones, and the kind of pink pink ones. Uh, the pink one lasts a bit longer, if I remember rightly, about five years, and the blue one is about uh, two, three years. So you can buy it ready mixed, if we're talking about um, radiator antifreeze. Or you can have it concentrated like this. The, the ready mix ones, I don't know. Uh, I do use it sometimes. I'm not 100% sure that the ready mix ones use distilled water, but I hope they do or use very soft water. But if you're using concentrated antifreeze, yes, you know, you're going to get, if you mix it with battery top up water or deionized uh, water, you're going to be 100% uh, sure there's no lime scale build up inside your radio or anything else. Um, Screen wash goes the same for it goes screen wash. This one's ready mixed, so I'm going to chuck that straight down here, uh, straight into my screen wash vessel, and uh, make sure I've got enough for the winter. And, um, and that's it, really. So, that's my top tip. Uh, please like, share, subscribe if not read really something done so. And if you are a subscriber, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. Oh, just one more thing. I even set up my camera again just to mention it. Screen wash is kind of just like a detergent, uh, I think. But antifreeze is not. Now, antifreeze is actually quite dangerous. Uh, this stuff, if you taste it, do not taste it. I did when I was a kid. It's actually sweet to the taste. Probably got because it's got glycerol in it. But this stuff is toxic waste. Now, this stuff is the, probably the most toxic thing you can find in your car. I remember dropping some of this onto some grass uh, a few years ago and the grass, nothing grew in that patch for about 3-4 years so this is absolutely toxic, especially keep this away from children they taste it, it's sweet, it, if they drank a cup of this it would kill them, there's no doubt, okay? So stay